salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. You know what separates us men from you women? We're not delusional. Let's get right into the damn video. Genesis. Genesis, where are you calling me from? California. How old are you? I'm 39. 39, what you do for a living? I work for the Veterans Benefit Administration. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer, but I really don't believe in that. I'm more okay, of a that's God fine. person. No worries. You work for the Veterans what, honey? Benefit Administration. Okay, Veterans Administration, I'm saying. You have any children? I do. I have three. I have an 18-year-old son who lives with his dad in Arizona, or hopefully in college. And then I have my little girls who are seven and four. Okay. Uh, so by two men? Uh, no, three. Mm -hmm. Three men. Why are you not with the man you had a, ba a four-year-old baby with? Oh, we were married and we were divorced. Uh, he wanted to be with somebody else, so I let him. Okay, so you got divorced recently? No, uh, it was in 2021 of okay, September, 20. and then he was married in December of 2021 oh, wow. with a baby on the way. So That's a lot. So he cheated on you? <laughs> I don't know what he want to call it, but um, it is what it is. Okay. Fair enough. Sorry you went through that. Sorry you went through that. That's all good. That's like okay. We got Genesis California, thirty nine. Works for a Veterans Administration. Mom of three kids by three men. How many times have you been married? I've been married three times. So you were married. Let's stop it right there, real quick, fellas. Three kids. Three different baby fathers. Married three times. All three marriages ended in divorce. Which one of you lucky guys out there would take her serious? I'll wait. Because this is what separates us men from you women, the delusion factor. Us men, if we do get married once and then get divorced once, for the most part, I don't think a man would try it a second time, especially because of what men go through in court. You haven't learned nothing. In my eyes, this is just my opinion. You have no room for demands from any man. That's just my opinion, but let's continue. Are all your children's dads? No, uh-uh. Just um, one of them, my little baby. When did you get divorced last? Was it your baby? The, the 2021, uh-huh. Okay, so why did you get divorced in the other two marriages? Um, the same. Well, not the same. The first one was when I was really young, 20, 2009. We both were in the military and the military life is not um, <laughs> friendly. And it's like um, the real housewives on crack. Like it's a whole reality show in itself. No, it's not. It's a loop. Your boy MABW, I served in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. I did basic training in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. I did AIT in Fort Lee, Virginia. But at the end of the day, the military is what you make it. Now, if you want to go out there and be a jump off, you can be a jump off. But if you just want to go there, do what you do for your career, get in and get out, get what you need, you can go in there. And it's nothing like the Real Housewives of Atlanta or any of these TV shows. It's just that some of these women out there, they want to be jump offs because they're away from home. They're away from their boyfriends. They're away from their husbands. So they decide to jump off and mess with various military men. I've been there. I've done that. I've messed with plenty of ladies in the military. That's just the way the military life was. Guys and young men out there, let me tell you one thing. If your girlfriend or your wife ever heads to college or the military, just go ahead and get a divorce. I'm going to repeat that one more time. If your girlfriend or your wife heads off to college or to the military, just go ahead and break up with them or get a divorce. That's the best advice I can give you right now in this video, to be honest with you. So, and he was a, um, a habitual cheater. Like one of my friends called me one time and she's like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, girl, what? She was like, why did your husband tell people that you died in a car accident? So I'm hopping in my car, checking, <laughs> checking brakes, checking everything. Your husband mm -hmm. told people that you died? Yes, yes. Why? In the practice. I don't know. I don't know if it was just to get another girl. I don't know. But how it came out was 
when I first got stationed with him, he went to a place, another place. He's like, oh, they're sending me somewhere to check. And I'm like, bro, I know I just got in, but if you're going somewhere, they're sending you for good. And the girl ended up calling me while he was sleeping, talking about, oh, yeah, he said he's taking care of you and your two kids. I only had one kid at the time, which was my son. And he had his son. And I was like, no, ma'am. I said, but thank you, because you put the icing on the cake, honey. I'm out. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. That's a lot, girl. Okay. So um, so those were the marriages. All right. Mm -hmm. So we got Genesis, California, 39, works for the Veteran Administration. Uh, mom of three kids, married three times. What kind of what kind of man you looking for? I'm a God fearing man that actually walked the walk and talked the talk. Um, it's a lot of men who say they believe but don't want to actually practice what they believe in or if I tell them like, oh, I'm not sexually active, I'm just waiting because I want to honor God. And they're like, oh, well, don't you got three kids? Don't you have three baby daddy? I say, yeah, I used to steal too. Should I keep doing that? Should I, should I still do? And, and you know what? I can understand that, but that's how the typical man is going to look at your situation. Like I'm telling you, like most men for the most part, they are going to feel like you have no room to make demands. And when you tell a man that you're waiting to give him the busted yam because you want him to marry you first. That's what you're going to be getting a lot of. A man is going to get up and walk right the hell away. You will be waiting forever to find a good man that wants to actually marry you. You will be waiting forever. That's you got to understand no matter what you do, no matter how much money you make, no matter how smart you think you are, how many degrees you have, you lowered your value like crazy once you had three babies by three different men and you're divorced. You're a three time divorcee. It's never going to happen. It'll never happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the only thing I'm supposed to give up is my yoni. Don't do nothing else bad. Don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't steal. But once I gave away the, you know, the stuff, I'm supposed to just give it to anybody who wanted. You get some. You get some. No. And I'm like, I'm 39. I only got a few good years left on this thing. I got to give it to my husband. She's 39. She only has a few good years left in her. She has to give it to her husband. You're a three-time divorcee with three children by three different men. Do you think a man is going to sit around and wait for you to give up the goods? And I'm not saying that you have to give up the goods, but in reality, if we can be real here, is any man waiting and sitting around to wait to get the goods from a single mother of three? She, like you, like. The delusion with women, this is what separates us. The, this is what separates us men from the women. We're not delusional. That's hella delusion right there. Now you want to wait to give it up to your husband? Let's continue, man. So you're not having sex again until you're married? Right. How long you been celibate for? A year and a half. A year and a half. Oh, mm -hmm. so you already pretty much answered the question that you know people are going to say. You've been married three times. Um, by three men. Were you celibate before those marriages? Um, my last one, yes, but we all sin and fall short of God's glory, which is another reason why I actually did marry the other ones, because I don't I can't live in sin. I just I don't know how people do it. Like just is able to do it. I can't. It's just not for me. So I would give people chances, but yes, in between times I am. Okay, you are. Um, okay. So non negotiable, no sex unless you get become a wife again. Okay. Um, any other well, I am a wife because he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So I am a wife already. I just need my. You seen her roll her eyes? I don't even think the host believes her. I don't even believe the. I don't. Even, I don't believe that the host even believes her. Just look at the host while she, while she's talking. And this is just a random. But I would love to see what this lady right here, Kendra G. I would love to see what she looks like when she takes off these eyelashes. And she takes off this lace front wig. I would love to see what she looks like naturally. I would love to see what she looks like naturally. My husband to find me. Oh, okay.
okay. So you are a wife in this moment. You just are waiting for the fourth man to marry you. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Any other requirements before we get to your deal breakers? Um, he has to have a job. He has to take care of his kids. I don't want no bum. Um, I think it's big that men take care of their kids, even if they're not together, or at least trying. Um, and I went to law school, so if that's something that we have to fight for, I definitely would try to help him get something because I do feel like men should get their kids, honestly. And I think it would stop a lot of um, men who don't have kids. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Smoking. That's a no. Smoking of any substance. Um, don't believe in so Jesus like no Christ. Weed either. No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. It's, it's grossed me out. Um, don't believe in Jesus Christ. Um, and again, if you don't have a job and you're not taking care of yourself, that's a big no, no for me because we're grown. And if you don't know what you want, that's, that's a big no, no for me. I'm highly educated. I have a lot of my background, a lot of history, and, um, I want somebody who's well, just ladies, let me repeat this to you again, because for some reason, you don't understand us men when we actually say this to you. So your boy MABW, I'm going to repeat it again, okay? Here's a couple of, I'm just going to give you a couple of things that us men don't care about, okay? We don't care about your dumb degrees and how highly educated you are. Because if you were highly educated, you wouldn't have went to college to get a degree that costs $100,000 or $200,000 just to come out and make $20 an hour, okay? We don't care about where you work at. We don't care about where you work at and we don't care how much you make because a lot of you women like to lead sometimes with your wallet and act like, well, I make this, I make men don't care because we are satisfied in our own skin with what we make. As long as we could take care of ourselves, have a roof over our head, take care of our, our children. If we do, we're satisfied. So I'm just giving you a few things that us men don't care about. So you women don't have to go to the next man and say, I'm, I'm highly educated. I got three degrees. So who cares? Who cares? Just put together, just well-rounded, not to, oh, if you don't do this, you're going to go to hell. But just more like, you know what, we're, we're walking, we're walking, and we're just getting better as we go. Like iron sharpens iron. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, I prefer more of a fit look. Because although I got a little chubby, I am working back out. I mean, I was in the military, so obviously I had to be in Let's stop it right there. Now, I'm not saying she looks bad. I'm not saying that she's chubby. I'm not saying none of that. But let me talk about how some women are, okay? Some women will let themselves go. They will get very out of shape, very out of place. They don't look right at all. But it's so funny how they want a man to come into their life and they want that man to be fit. Now, judging from the waist up looking at you, I'm not saying your body is bad, but you don't look fit to me. I'm not saying your body is bad. You could be thick. You could be slim a little bit, slim thick, whatever you want to call it. But most women who have the sloppiest bodies, they always want a man to come in to their lives and they want that man to be fit when they are hella sloppy. The irony and delusion with some of these women, like I've said it before, it's unreal. It's uncanny to none. In shape, but um, I, I don't like bigger men or them being like super sloppy. Like you can have a little weight on you because we're, we're older, but like overly sloppy, no. Uh -uh. And long as he's uh, taller than me, I don't care how tall he is. Long as he's taller than you, you don't care how tall mm -hmm. he is. Okay. Um. What about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Um, I would say just a medium income for a man that's around the road. So what's that like between 45 and 60 is what most men make. Okay, I can respect that. But I want to give I want to throw a question out there to the fellas. In her prime, possibly, do you think her standards were higher? Or do you think her standards would be higher for what a man would have to make as far as a pay grade go? Because we all know that once women get up there in age, their their um their standards drop a little bit. Now the man only has to make forty five to sixty thousand. Now the man doesn't have to be but yay high. He could be shorter than me possibly, 
they start having lower standards the older they get. The older they, the older they get, the lower their standards get. When they were younger, the younger they were, the higher their standards were. That's how a lot of women operate all the time. Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. All righty. Let me set it back up. I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me? Yes, we can see you. Okay, boo. All right, baby girl. We got you, baby. So Genesis, right? Yes. Fellas, what do you think? She worth getting with her body tight? You got to come. Remember, you got to come and fit. She want a fit guy. What do you think? You let me know in the comment section how, how she look. Ma'am, I have some paid questions. Do you want? Uh -huh. okay. Yes, I'm sure. OK. DK Holloway Diesel said, continue holding steadfast and remember to not require a man to fully commit until you are married. OK. No, to, to don't require a man to fulfill commitments until you are married. I'm not sure what he means. Like, don't require a man to, like, help pay my bills or something. Is that what he's saying? Um, let me read it again. You're right. I read it wrong. Uh, remember not to require a man to full to fulfill commitments until you are married. Oh, so what he's I saying agree. is, yeah, yeah, he's saying since you're, I guess this is what he, the point he's trying to make. Since you are making it clear you're not having sex until you right. are a wife. I guess he's saying don't expect a man to do husband duties until you're married. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. When, whenever I take it, whenever a man asks me out or anything, um, it's always, hey, I'm going to pay for my own stuff. Of course, a lot of men say no. That's because you have no choice now. And that's what I want to make clear to the men out there. She knows that she has to do this now because she has no choice. I can guarantee you before she had kids by three different men three different baby daddies, I can guarantee you that any man that had to take her out had to pay for it. They, they had to pay for everything. I can guarantee it. But I state to the men all the time, once these women come crashing into the wall, that's when they sit up there and state that a man doesn't have to pay for everything. I don't mind going 50-50 now. This is how they operate. This is how women operate. And a lot of you women are going to face reality in about another three years. Some of you are in your... your early 30s right now and another two or three you're gonna you're gonna be facing reality just like her unfortunately you're gonna face reality just like her and your standards are gonna be way down here you be like i'll take a guy that work at mcdonald's or burger king i don't care that's how their standards literally get but i'm more than willing to pay for my own things because i don't want them to get it twisted and i'd rather it be that way because it's no expectations i don't want you to feel like you have to go above and beyond for something that you're not going to get I want somebody who's going to be genuine and I'm a homeowner and it ain't no man on my thing. I'm not on OnlyFans. I make my own money. I've gotten my own education. I worked hard to get what I got and I don't need no man to buy me a $20 meal. I don't care about going to Cheesecake Factory. I like that. So <laughs> we can go chill out of park because I'm genuinely trying to get to know somebody. It's not about how much they make, but you got to come in making something. Okay. Um, Divine Photo says, if you if you have to say you are a wife, then you are a wife. Actions speak louder than words. Well, I mean, she's been married three times. She is. I mean, you've I'm, been a, I'm a wife. How many yeah. times have you been married? And I'm not saying that I'm a wife. The word says I'm a wife. Because the word says he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So you're a wife before you already cut, be, is are one. I, I mean, maybe you're not Christian, so maybe you didn't know that. So I do take that back. But the word tells us he who finds a wife finds a good thing. That means I have to be a wife for somebody to find a wife. That's where I'm going with that. Thank you, okay. though. Okay. Um, Manny Jackson says she's not joking. The military life is like a reality TV show without TV. Okay. Um, it's wild. It's wild. <laughs> I'm not going to read that one. Um Okay, this one said, now you want a God-fearing man after three baby daddies. Um, well, three all of them did say, one. yeah, all no. of them did say they God-fearing. Um, all of them did go to church with me. Um, but just because people fall short of uh, Real quick, ladies, before I end this video, men will tell you anything to get up in your drawers. A man would even go as far as to say he's God-fearing to get up in your drawers. A man would even say that 
He'll go to church with you a couple of times just to get up in your men will say anything to you. And you let three different men say different things to you every single time and got knocked up three times by men that said they were God fearing and went to church with you a couple of times. You're not as smart as you think you are. I know you say you're highly educated, but when it comes to being educated on men, you know nothing about men. For God's glory doesn't mean that they're not God friend. Everybody's sin. Everybody has their mistakes. Um, I'm sure you don't live a perfect life either. So don't judge a man by what he do. And all of them are still friends with me. It's just it is what it is. I'm not going to stay for somebody who cheat. I'm not going to stay with somebody who don't want to be with me. I, I, Let's I, stop the damn video right there. And I can agree. Nobody should stay with anybody that cheats on them or is messing around them on them. But at the end of the day, you got pregnant by three different guys, three different children, and you've been a, you've been divorced three times. So I'm just here to say, I honestly don't think any man might take you serious at all. And I honestly believe that you don't have no room for any negotiations, but to each his own. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.